Hey guys, it's Lynn and Paul here from the sales team. We just wanted to walk you through our uh, Book Depot website and how to use the special features that we have. First off, I'd like to show you how to create an, a new account with us. It's very simple. Um, as you can see, just enter your name, email address, company, subscribe to all our fun stuff, and there you go, you've created an account. Okay, so now that you've created an account, we can get started and just wanted to bring you back to the home page here. As you can see, we have a scrolling banner of some new arrivals, blowouts, um, some new books that we have on special, and then our feature banner down here. So this changes every 14 days. I'm going to bring you to the new arrivals page. In this new arrivals page, as you can see, there's many options that you can choose at the beginning. So if you wanted to just see 24 on a page, you can keep it at that. Typically, everyone wants to see more, so let's change that to 96. Your order that everything is popping up is arrival new to old. You can obviously change that as well if you'd like to see old to new, price points, publishers, authors, and by title. You can also change the way that you're viewing. So right now it's in a grid. You can change it to columns. And you can also change it to a list. Okay, I'm going to put it back to grid for now. And from there, you can see that you can do a lot of filters. So the first filter is categories. Then you have for your price points, your quantity, to your format. And then series is there. Your age classifications, if you're within the children's sections, grade classifications as well. Okay, so let's bring you back up and let's do a simple search on some uh, children's fiction. Once I click that, I need to press apply for the search to begin. From there, now I can do subjects. So if I wanted just animals, again, I need to click apply. Now I have every children's fiction book with a subject of animals. If you wanted to filter even more and you needed at least 25 copies per title, again, press the 25 and press apply. All right, so here's your results with the 25 plus per title. Um, as you can see, it gives you um, 45 results. So that's a great result. Um, now you are within the shopping mode. So now you can click on a title if this is one of the titles that you're interested in and you want to find out more information on, you just click on the title here. Brings you in here, you can see the author, the binding, your the US list price, your cost, as well as how many units we currently have in stock. Down below here is additional information. So your ISBN, your 13 and your 10, which publisher it came from, language, page count, size. If it were a part of a series, you would have that information there as well. If you would like to see the overview, you just need to click right here, and then there's your overview of this title. Since we're in here, let's add this to our cart. So now we're just being prompted to log into our cart. So we just log in, and as you can see, the display has changed a little bit. So now you can put in how, much, how many t units you'd like. I'd like two. So we're going to add two units to your cart. This icon will come up as soon as it is successfully bumped into your cart. And as well up here, you can see that one title, two units have been added to your cart, and your cart total is now at $3. These features here are to, um, if this is one of your favorite books, you can add it to your favorite list, so you would just click on the heart. If you want to add it to a wish list, um, so going forward, you'd like to see that this book is back in stock. Just click on the, on the present there as your wish, wish list. So now that you've successfully added this title into your shopping cart and you do like this publisher, so Little Simon, you can actually click on this icon right here and search through all of the Little Simon product that we currently have in stock. So as you can see, it gave us a result of three pages and 270 different titles. Okay. 
Now, the other thing I'd like to point out for you is this search column up top here. You can search by all, meaning if you were to type in a uh, word, say goose, as in blue goose, the first title on the screen, every title that has, has the word goose in it will come up in your search. If you have the ISBN number of a certain title that you're looking for, just key it in here and that title will come up. If you know the exact title, just click on this. If you know the author that you're searching for or the category, category is down here, so I'd suggest going this route, but it's also there for you as well. So if you're up here and you wanted to search um, anything that had goose in it, just type in goose, press enter, and now you have all titles with goose. Okay, so it's a pretty cool search feature for you. And again, you can filter from here. So if you, you're starting to see some titles that only have four units and you need a lot more than that, just come over to your side panel here, find your quantity, and you need 25 plus, press apply, and again, you will get all the search items, the titles that have 25 plus. So from here, I'm just going to bring you into a different section on our website, and it is called our blowouts. So within the blowouts, as you can see here, um, it just gives you a brief description of what they are. Basically, from time to time, we just select product that need to go into this, this category. Let's click on View New Arrival Blowouts. So as you can see, at the moment, we have 727 that are new into the blowout section. Again, you can categorize what you want to look for. You can do the quantity again. So let's do our 25 plus. Press apply. Now this filters the list down to 712. Still gives us a very healthy list to work with. Again, it's the same uh, features as to add it into your shopping cart. So right here, you like the abs diet. Let's click on that book. Let's get a little bit more information on it. You will see that there is a requirement of having 10 units added into your shopping cart. You cannot just buy one unit of a blowout. You need to buy the full 10. So we're going to add that into our cart. The icon comes up. It's been successful. Perfect. Now, if we want to just go back to the list, just press the back button. And again, we're back right where we left off. If you don't need to know any more information about the book, you already know it and you really like this title, right here you can just add to your cart very quickly. The icon comes up and then you can continue scrolling down. All right, from here I just wanted to show you another section. Uh, just click on the scroll to the top, brings you right up here. Uh, the other section. So within here, you can see our award books, languages, the different languages that we currently have, some special interest, as well as our calendar events. Right here, you'll see our bestsellers. Let's click on the top 200. And these are our top 200 bestselling titles that we currently have in stock. As you can see, the results are 196. That means that four of these titles have sold out today, and this evening at 8.45 p.m., this will all get refreshed back to 200 results. Now, once you've started your browsing, you may need to uh, contact us just for some information that you're lacking or you just need more information on something. Right up here, you'll see this little body. Just click on that, and you want to create a ticket. Once you create this ticket, you can actually go in here. Um, if it's regarding an order, the order ID is always helpful, so please put that in there. And then you can just type away your message right here to customer service, uh, click that you're not a robot, create the ticket, and our customer service reps will be back to you uh, within a 24-hour period. Or alternately, as you can see right here, you can call our 1-800 number and our customer service is at extension 229, uh, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. Now, in the meantime, after you've sent your ticket in, if you still need a little bit more help, you can click on this question mark at the top here, 
and you can learn a little bit more about us. Um, you can see our minimum and minimums and discounts, our shipping policies, um, our frequently asked questions. Again, it's on the sidebar here as well as down at the bottom. Now that we're done shopping, um, you'll notice at the very top of the uh, the page, I'm sure you've seen already, is uh, is our handy shopping cart. So this will always show you that running total, the number of units and titles in your order. So you just want to click on that. And there we go. So now we've got our shopping cart. So checkout is very easy. You can just review what it is you have uh, already in your shopping cart. If for any reason you wanted to change the quantity, um, maybe you had... Um, second guess yourself and maybe you only want 100 units um, maybe you want to increase to 500 units um, you can easily make the change um, right before you check out if you do have a, a coupon you can apply your coupon code uh, the password click apply coupon and that will automatically apply that total against uh, the full value of your order once you're done just click on update hit checkout and it's as easy as that Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk through your profile. Um, very easy to do and uh, just an area where you might be able to edit some of the details if necessary. So you'll notice uh, I've got my profile details right here. We've got our name, contact, um, basically all of the, uh, the information about your business and how we can get in touch with you. You have the option to subscribe to any of our blogs, uh, our sales and promotions. So this is an easy way that you can just select one of these options and then update your profile. Um, in addition to this, you can also add or edit any of your shipping locations. So if you have uh, three or four different shipping locations, you can add them here um, with pertinent details about whether or not there is a loading dock um, if you need help unloading the truck, um, so certain details of that nature um, that we can get and you just put them in one time and then you're good to go. We're going to discuss our favorites function now. Basically what you will do, I'm going to open a new tab here, show you, um, I'm going to give an example that let's just say you are familiar with the ready to read series and this is a series that you generally speaking you always want titles that come from that series this would be a good example of something to put into your favorites so you can constantly monitor when those titles sell out when they come back in and you can add them to your cart quite easily as an example I'm going to go into this one title and once the title information has loaded you'll notice right beside add to cart there will be a heart so if you click on the heart, this is the option that will allow you to add to favorites. Now from there, we've got a list of uh, some of the favorite titles which I've created um, for this instance, which are basically all from the, uh, the Ready to Read series. While you're in your favorites, what you can do is you can view some of the titles. You can see how many we have in stock. So in going through them, maybe you want to purchase 50 copies of this title. So you just type in the quantity that you would like to purchase and click add to cart. Very simple to do. Now one of the unique features that we offer with the favorites is maybe there's different children's series, I'm giving an example, that, uh, that you commonly like to purchase. What you can do is you can create different folders and in theory you could create a different folder for each of those series. So you can monitor when titles from that particular series come in separately from another series. So for instance, I've created a folder for ready to read. That would be one of the instances uh, that you could use. So if I click on view folder, now I can see all of the titles within that series. Again, with the quantity, the minimum uh, amount to purchase, and that would be it. Another folder uh, function would just be up on the top right to manage your folders. This is where if you have certain titles that might be in your general favorites, but you would like to move them over to your ready to read folder, what you can do is you'll notice on the right, you can do a little check mark for each of these titles. And then at the bottom, copy to, select the folder that you would like to add them into and click submit. Now I'm going to click over to the wish list function. So just up at the top from the drop down, we have the easy access. One of the biggest differences between the wish list as well as the favorites 
is if you'd like to be notified when that title comes into our inventory. So for example, we'll paste an ISBN and click search. So I brought up the shack. So if this title was to come into our inventory, all I would have to do is press add. And now this is a part of my wish list. So I'll get an email as soon as this one arrives. Now to view your, uh, your past orders, great function that you can do. Um, at the very top of the page, uh, you'll notice we can click on the, uh, on the guy there and instantly you'll see past orders. So by clicking on that, that will take you to a page that looks something like this here. So uh, this is listing a couple of the past orders. Naturally, uh, you may have 10, 20, 30 orders uh, showing on yours. Now, a neat feature that, uh, that we've installed and put in place is uh, checking stock. So if I was to click on this right here and check stock, this is going to let me know of any title that was in that order that we still have in stock or that we may have got back into stock. Um, from there, we can again, we can add uh, quantity, add it to our shopping cart, and uh, order that with a, a simple one or two clicks. Now, going back to the past orders, a neat function that you can do is opening the order itself and viewing exactly what you ordered, seeing the quantity that was ordered, the quantity that was shipped, um, the price, and even uh, all of your totals, including the shipping. Um, up at the top here, I have just uh, opened up the PDF version of this. So you can simply uh, click open the PDF and if you are looking for a printable version, something that you can store for your records, this would be the one to do that. And one more option that you do have, if I go back to the order details, is rather than printing to a PDF, you can print to an Excel version. A great feature to check out from time to time would be our blog, which you can locate on the top right-hand side of the, uh, of the web page. This is a great spot. You can get some industry insights. Um, we have certain articles uh, about trade shows. For example, you can see the London Book Fair. Um, so just a great spot uh, maybe once or twice a week to check out uh, some of our current uh, happenings in the company. So we do, uh, we hear your feedback and we uh, have an excellent IT team uh, that is working for you, working for us. Um, and as a part of that, we're always looking to, uh, to make improvements uh, to the website and one of the great things is uh, some of the feedback that we've had from our customers. So we're excited to share some of the, uh, the ideas and creations that we're currently working on um, and are things that you can expect to see on the website in the not too distant future. Um, one of those things would be uh, having the ability to create custom automated new arrival reports. So as an example of this, um, what you may want to do is every two weeks, I'm just giving an example, you may want to see children's uh, board books and you may want to see at least a, a minimum of 500 copies plus. So this would be a template that you would be able to set up and simply every two weeks you're going to have the ability to look at this report through our website, um, which is going to automatically show you those books, saving you a lot of time and effort uh, going through the website and doing searches one at a time. Um, another, uh, another unique feature coming down the pipeline is a, a keyword search, but a templated one. So I'm going to give an example. If you are a regional um, store, and let's just say you're located in the city of Toronto, you may want a, uh, to use Toronto as a keyword, Toronto Blue Jays, Toronto Maple Leafs, you may want Lake Ontario. Um, so these are a number of different things and uh, a few different subjects that if you're located in the city of Toronto, these may be good subjects uh, for selling. So you would enter those keywords and uh, be able to easily template that and view different titles that we have with those templates. Um, lastly is, uh, is unique uh, lists that are based on bestsellers. So um, what we have the ability to do is create independent general retail bookstore bestsellers list. So um, this is something we're working on for you. So this way we can kind of show you some of the best-selling titles through those general bookstores that are, are coming in through Book Depot. And that's it. That's all that we have for today. Um, if you do have any questions, anything that we haven't touched on at all, please do contact us uh, through the tickets page, uh, and that will go directly through our customer service. Um, and we'll definitely be glad to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for your time, and thanks for listening.